now leading the field at about 280 miles an hour. Looks like Captain Raymond is going to win, Edmund. how Raymond ever get out of that crash. I don't either, Skid. Huh. Old Edmund's sure warming up to him. No doubt we'll take him to a secret workshop. Telegram, Mr. Crone. You'll come with us to our hotel, Captain? Thanks. I'll be glad to. I'll get the car. I'd like to get you down to my desert plant as soon as you're able to go. I'm ready right now. Good. We'll fly down in my passenger plane. Right. Important shipment we've got to bring across the border at once. I'm going to the office. Skip. Don't let Raymond out of your sight. Okay, Chief. waiting for us to bring it over. Good work, Blade. We'll get right after it. Now, tell me just what you overheard in Edmund's room last night. I heard him telling Raymond about his invention. He said it's something that uh, defies or overcomes gravitation. I saw it lift a chair from the floor. Edmund said even the small quantity he was using in the demonstration had power enough to lift the building. We could sure use a thing like that in our business. Yes, but can you imagine its value to any government in the world? Why, it's worth more than all the stuff we could smuggle in a hundred years. How are you done to handle that stuff at the border? We're going to get that invention or discovery or whatever it is. Well, that shouldn't be hard. With you knowing Miss Edmonds so well. Knowing Miss Edmonds has its advantages, but Old Edmonds is pretty cagey. I know he has a secret workshop. If we could only find it. What have you found out? Everything. You know, I'm commencing to think I'm a regular wizard. What do you mean, everything? Well, I heard Edmonds invite Raymond to his secret workshop. Yes, yes, go on. So I followed him in a scout plane. They landed at a desert airport about 20 miles north of Black Mountain. So while I was there, I just thought I'd snap a picture from the air. And here it is. Sure, a wonderful layout. You could do most anything here. Yes, you can. Come over here, Captain. There's the model I want you to study. 
I call it my phantom plane. Why phantom? Because it needs no pilot. It flies without visible means of operation. You mean... Just a moment. Come here. I have here a remote control board. Through this periscope, I can view the sky for 50 miles in any direction. Look through it, Captain. Thank you. What you have here is priceless. Now I can understand why you built this laboratory way out here. And underground is to protect your secret. No one would ever suspect its being here. But if a spy walked in on you and discovered this secret panel, what protection have you then? If I were to throw this switch, in three minutes this place would be blown to atoms. And my secret would still be safe. And in those three minutes, you would have beaten the world speed record. <laughs> Here's something interesting, Captain. The substance you see in that container is one of the basic elements of my discovery and invention. What is it? <laughs> uh, if I may ask. Well, that'd be rather hard to explain. But this much I can tell you. It's the most powerful, valuable, poisonous, explosive gas. There's a large tube leads from that container to a tank buried in the earth. You say it is poisonous. You mean it would cause instant death? No, not instant death. But if anyone were unfortunate enough to inhale it, they'd live but a few minutes. I hope no one is ever forced to inhale it. I hope so too, Captain. I compounded that to help, not to destroy. By the way, Mr. Edmonds, have you as yet equipped a plane with your invention? Not yet, but with a little added equipment. The apparatus I demonstrated to you at the hotel can be applied to any plane. And you've already used it in the air? Not yet. I'm still looking for a man that I can trust to take up the plane, release the controls, and let me manage it from there. I'm your man, Mr. Edmonds. You, you'll do it? Yes. When? Right now. I am as anxious to prove this thing as you are. Yes? Munson, come down to the shop at once. Yes, Mr. Edwards, right away. Munson is my trusted mechanic, an aide. He doesn't fly a ship. I see. But he'll have yours prepared for you. What is it, Mr. Edwards? Uh, Munson, this is Captain Raymond, the man I've been looking for. How do you do? He is going to help us with our new demonstration. Place the controgram in the EMSCO plane. I'll arrange everything, sir. At once, Munson. Yes, sir. Come, Captain. Edmonds, this is certainly a beautiful job. I'm glad you like it, Captain. Now, don't forget, Watson, to connect the control wires. I won't, sir. If you follow my instructions, you can't miss. We won't miss, Chief. And if Captain Raymond happens to be there, it'll be just too bad for him. <laughs> Say, this is a cinch. We got old man Edmund's invention in the bag right now. All right, get going. I'll stand by waiting for word. I'll radio every move. Come on, boy. I'll let you know when I want you to release the controls. Right. I'll just sit back and watch things happen so I can give you a complete report. That's right. Ready, Munson? All ready, sir. 
You don't know how much this means to us, Captain Raymond. And it's meaning more to me every minute. He's gaining altitude in amazing time. That boy's a great flyer. Hello, Captain. I will now take complete charge of the plane. Okay, go ahead. How does it feel now? Running better than if I were handling it myself. It works. It works just as the model did. It's a complete success. Oh, Daddy, I'm so glad. Now for the most important test of all. Hello, Captain. You will now let me land the plane on our own field. Okay, go ahead. Oh, Daddy! I knew it would work. I knew it would work. Yet it's gratifying after all these years of endeavor to see it. You've certainly got it, Mr. Edmonds. Your invention will revolutionize aviation. And we're grateful to you, Captain Raymond, for helping us prove it. Thank you. Now, Mudson. Yes, sir. For our other little plan. Mudson and I must leave you for an hour or so. Study that model, Captain. You'll find her interesting. I'm sure of that. Father was referring to his model plane. Come, <laughs> <laughs> Mudson. Yes, and almost airproof, too, except for the ventilating system. I'll show you. Mr. Edmonds hasn't forgotten a thing, has he? No, not a thing. <laughs> Now. 
look the place over carefully before landing. Go ahead. Nobody inside. Our success depends on an absolute surprise. Cut the motor! You'll find me a rather unusual model, miss. Make it Mary. Thanks, Mary. Mine's Bob. Try that building over there. But be careful. It's liable to be full of traps. Let's take up the phantom ship. I want to show the great Captain Raymond how well I can handle a plane. I'm in heaven right now, Mary. <laughs> oh, come. I don't think there's anybody at home. Well, let's go in. Come on, Bob. <laughs> Are you gentlemen looking for someone? Yes. For your friend, the captain, here. Thank <laughs> you. 